Hey there all my 3D printing buddies. I've been up uh, to all kinds of printing and uh, doing a lot of experimentation. Um, I've been playing around with a real small stepper motor like uh, this little geared stepper. This is a number 11, really tiny little guy. And i um, actually putting him right on the head and doing some experiments with it. Um, the magnets hold it up and it does work fine. Um, you know, and playing around with it and trying to think of just different options. Something I played around with that I think is really cool. It's kind of totally different than anything else I've seen. Um, the idea is I took this little aluminum block and what I did is I machined, I just did this quickly on the drill press. There's a couple of holes, one for the, one for the filament and then one for a drywall screw. And basically what the idea is, is that on the head, to have, to allow the, um, the drywall screw to work as like a worm gear type um, setup. And the way it would work is, it, the, what, what it would do is it allow a stepper motor to be located in the vertical position and without the gear motor, basically this would be like um, um, the worm and it would, uh, it creates its own mechanical advantage um, that I think would do away with this uh, gear motor. In any case, what it ends up doing, it ends up being like a, uh, a drive mechanism. And it drives the, um, it drives the filament. You can see it moving there. It, feeding it. So it's kind of neat. What it does is it actually bites and you can feel it in the side of the... Um, I just did this quickly. This isn't precision or anything. I did this real fast on my drill press. But the idea is pretty cool. And so what it does do is it does put some bites into the uh, filament um, from the teeth on this drywall. This is actually a deck screw. But, you know, these things are hardened too. So it's going to be interesting to see how long the... Um, how long they last um, but uh, anyways just for a proof of concept it's kind of neat in playing around with this thing I discovered that it's an amazing amount of force um, that's created for the um, the drive on this thing and uh, it makes total sense when you look at you know the the way the conventional way that we're doing it now using this cog pulley or whatever you want to call it driving the filament we're lucky if we get just a you know a tooth or two on the filament um, so the amount of shear is concentrated in such a fine at a fine point on the filament whereas in a drive system similar to this when you've got the worm drive you know you've got so many points of contact even within let's say three quarters of an inch or so so it makes sense that um, you know there's so much more force uh, before it's able to strip out uh, another thing too is the bite on these teeth it has to be so little you know right now I just I did this quickly on the drill press but if this was um, precisionly made uh, the amount of uh, engagement of the tooth because there's so many of them I think would be so slight I think it could be a lot less than what it is on this kind of uh, drive system anyways it's really interesting and it's, I don't know something I may mine works so perfectly right now it's almost not worth the time to mess with it my whole idea was just design wise I was thinking I really would like to get that stepper motor <laughs> vertically so that's what created all this and it's really uh, it's not really necessary but it's interesting to think about in any case I usually do most of these ideas come to me at about 2 30 in the morning um, out of a dead sleep I wake up and I go gosh this would be a neat idea <laughs> I've got a little pad of paper and a pencil I can write down because otherwise I don't remember them in the morning anyways uh, this is something that's interesting hope you enjoyed it <laughs>